Good evening. And welcome to another edition of Import Export Platform Facebook Live from Three Team Press Trade Academy. My name is Dele Dele Ayemibo. We we'll continue from where we stop on uh, discussion on starting and managing. Um, sorry, that's <laughs> on starting and managing. You know, I'm so used to the topic starting and managing a small business that even when I finish it, I still want to talk about starting and managing a small business. Even though I'm on episode 27 of Nigerian states are billionaires in dollars. Nigerian states are billionaires in dollars. And this evening, uh, we are looking at the southwestern state. We are looking at the southwestern state. So, I'm going to take, before I drill down on each of the states in Nigeria, I'm going to take each of the regions and to discuss it and to look at the potential of each of the regions in the country. I'm looking at the potential now from a Greek and mineral perspective with intention to discuss the export potentials. I'm looking at the state from the minerals and export perspective with the intention to discuss the export potential. Remember, when I say Nigerians that are billionaires in dollars, I use the word dollars because it's all about exportation. It's just a way of making the states to understand the fact that they have the potential. Even though they've not maximized that potential. So I'm repeating tonight, Nigerian states are billionaires in dollars. But Nigerian states have not taken advantage of all that they have, even though they're billionaires in dollars. I dare say the Nigerian states are billionaires in dollars. However, Nigerian states have not taken full advantage of the opportunity it has as a billionaire. Like I said, I'm looking at the west, southwestern state today. I will look at the Greek and look at the minerals. I look at the Greek and look at the minerals. Looking at the southwestern state of Nigeria, Lagos, cassava, vegetable, um, coconut, even fish farming. But I'm not talking so much on animal husbandry and the reason being that I think that we should focus on the one that is a lot easier because, you know, the whites believe that we are not killing our animal very well. <laughs> that we kill our animal in a very violent way and allow the hormones, the violent hormones, to come into the body. And as those hormones get into the body, you know what happened? We consume it together. And that makes us violent. <laughs> and that makes us violent. Nigerian states are billionaires in dollars. Nigerian states are billionaires in dollars. Nigerian states are billionaires in dollars. Anyone that thinks Nigerian state does not have the money, I see Nigerian state have the money. You know, I've said several years also, the money is not cash. Economics told that mean money is a medium of exchange. So whatever I have that I can use to get out what I want is money. Money is not cash. Money is a medium of exchange. Whatever I have that I can use to get what I want is money. So when I say Nigerian state billionaires in dollars, Nigerian state have what it takes. But I guess they have not explored the opportunities presented to them. Why? Nigerian states have alternative. Nigerian states depend on Abuja. Abuja has not failed so far. And they believe Abuja will never fail. So nobody is thinking of alternatives. But you know what? If Abuja failed once, maybe it will make them to begin to think of alternative. If you look at the Southwest, I looked at Lagos in terms of a Greek. Not much for Lagos. And you know, the beauty of our diversity as a nation is the fact that there can be synergy. So, as a state in Lagos, like Lagos, Lagos partnered with Kebi and they came up with the Lake Rise. 
That is the kind of collaboration I expect to see so that those that have money shall begin, can partner with those that do not have, so that we both compete in the area of strength. Rather, sorry, synergize in the area of strength and provide a mutually beneficial relationship that will make everyone involved to be able to enjoy such benefit. Beneficial relationship that will make everyone involved to be able to enjoy such relationship. So if there are states that doesn't have so much, just like Lagos, they might not have so much in agric and mineral, but there is much also in other opportunities in terms of investment, in terms of income. And this income, that means a state does not necessarily have to depend on what is produced in its own state for export. A state can work with another state that have an advantage and leverage on the advantage of that other state for export. Leverage of the advantage of that other state for export. So we don't say, oh, because we are looking for this opportunity and there's no opportunity there, then we'll not be able to. I don't think that is right. Nigerian state are billionaires in dollars. And if there is one thing that is being preached all around today, it is synergy. It is synergy. Can we synergize a little bit? Can we synergize a little bit? Can we synergize a little bit? Equity state. Cocoa. Cassava. Yam. Raw cashew nuts. And vegetable. Now, remember the list I'm calling is not exhaustive. The list I have is not exhaustive. The list I have is not exhaustive. The list is just providing and highlighting some basic things that the state can produce, that the state can leverage on. So my list is not exhaustive by no means. So if the state can focus on cocoa, if the state can focus on cassava, if the state can focus on yam, on raw cashew nut, on vegetables. Let's check the economy of vegetable around the world. Let's check the economy of vegetable around the world and see what vegetable is doing. So you can see different things that this state called the state. You know, by the way, I went to secondary school in the state, so I'm a bit familiar with that state. So I definitely know that the state have all it needs. The state have all it needs. Like they said, I have all it needs. So I, I have no doubt in my mind on the potential of the state. Frozen vegetable is 6.34 billion market. Frozen vegetable. Frozen vegetable. I'm not talking about dry vegetable. I've only looked at frozen vegetable. So that means Lagos also can take advantage of that. Frozen vegetable. Frozen vegetable. Um, let me check. I'm trying to see if I can get dry. Yeah, dry vegetable. Dry vegetable. Dry vegetable is $4.39 billion. So we have dry vegetable. We have frozen vegetable. The two of them combined together is almost $11 billion. So that means states in the southwest that can produce vegetable can take advantage of that. And I think many states in Nigeria can actually produce vegetable. Many states in Nigeria can actually produce vegetable. What we've not done, like I said, is taking advantage of it. And the reason why I'm looking at the the reason why I'm looking at the um, regions or zones today is you know they have been clamoring for uh, the devolution of power clamoring for um, fiscal federalism, clamoring for going back to the regions and zones the way it was before the military came and um, in the bid to have hold, send their people to different states and make everybody together. <laughs> and then we now amend our constitution, 1979 constitution to be in the same direction. And then 1999 constitution to be... <laughs> To be in the same direction. Um, 
Coco, cassava, yam, raw cashew nut, vegetable. And I've been talking about the economy of vegetable. There's so much, so much more than you can imagine for vegetable. I'm, I'm just surprised. You know, sometimes each time I go online, I do some of this research and check up some of the potential of Nigerian export product. I'm just amazed. I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted and overwhelmed at what I see at the potential. Do you know that tomato, which for another vegetable, tomato is $8.78 billion. What? Tomato? $8.78 billion. That is huge. That is a lot. Tomato? $8.78 billion? That's too much. That's a lot. <laughs> That's too much. That's a lot. But you know what? That is it. Tomato. $8.78 billion. And they all fall under vegetables. You know, I've looked at the green vegetable, the dry, the wet. So when you are looking at the economy of vegetable, I, I'm, 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 not, I'm not true with vegetable yet. I'm not true with vegetable yet. And I'm talking to the southwestern state now. And the beauty is that this vegetable also applies to South South. So it's not just Southwestern state. The South South and Southeast, I'm sure, also have something vegetable. You know, some things you just sometimes you just look at some things and you overlook them. And in overlooking them, you're actually overlooking a, 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 a huge opportunity that you don't even know how much opportunity resides in uh, in that in that in that particular product. Then there's one called just order vegetable. Order vegetable. What? 13.4 billion dollars. Just lumping orders together. So, in my opinion, vegetable um, economy is almost 50 billion, if not more, from what I'm seeing here on the screen. You know, I know a state in Nigeria said they export vegetable but what some people have asked is where the vegetable pass through did they pass through the port if you pass through the port can they show some evidence just to be sure that it did happen because you know what has happened since that time there seems not to be a repetition of that at least not as much because i think it was about five million dollars that someone talked about so i mean i'm not saying the state governor has not have done what they claim they did but a lot of people are saying look can we have some evidence of the, where the vegetable pass through, the quarantine that examined them? Did they go through the air? Which airline used them? How did this vegetable ship and how did the money come back? I don't know how true it is, but there are a lot of questioning that I'm not sure the state have answered. But the fact that the state was even thinking of it and probably did some shipment, probably not up to the volume, but it's commendable. I am... Um, um, the fact that they are even thinking of it because some people are not thinking of it. Some people are not thinking of it. Some states are not thinking of it. So if some people have thought of it and they're able to do something about it, I think they should be commended, even though there might be reservations from different quarters on the genuineness and authenticity of what they claim they can do. Cocoa, I'm looking at your state now. Cocoa, cotton, Cassava. Do you know the economy of cassava? Do you have an idea of the economy of cassava? Do you have an idea of the economy of cassava? How much can be done with cassava? Cassava dry and fresh. Cassava starch. How much can be done with it? Because oceans, I mean, it states or your state have cassava in huge volume from 2.1 billion to 1.5 billion, 5, 8 billion to 1.23 billion. Cassava starch, 1.23 billion. Cassava in the fresh and dry form, 1.58 billion. And the raw cassava itself, 2.19 billion. Cassava market is in billions of dollars. 
I'm sure if you have been following me, you know that by now Nigeria is the largest producer of cassava in the world. But Thailand is controlling 54% of that market. Vietnam is controlling 13% of that market. United States is controlling about 10% of that market. Who is the largest producer? Nigeria. Who are the largest exporter? Other countries who are in distant second, third, fourth, fifth from Ni to Nigeria in terms of production. That is just repeating the same menace we've had with other, uh, other products. Share not. Share not. If you, let me look at the cosmetic industry in the world and see how much you can play in that. Cosmetic industry. And it's also called the beauty product. Cosmetic industry. Wow. Lord have mercy. $44.5 billion. Cosmetic industry. $44.5 billion. Cosmetic industry. $44.5 billion. Cosmetic industry. Why am I checking this? I'm checking this because of I'm checking this because of sheer not. I'm because of sheer cream. Because of sheer not, sheer cream, sheer butter. And due to sheer butter is now used in place of cocoa butter. Let me check the size of cocoa butter. Let me check the size of cocoa butter. Let me check the size of cocoa butter. Let me check the, check the size of cocoa butter. Because share nut is used in lieu of cocoa butter. Because share butter is lieu of cocoa butter for a number of confectionaries because of the cheap, because share uh, butter is actually cheaper than cocoa butter. Of course, understandably so. But the good enough is both of them are found in, South, in West Africa. Cocoa butter market is 5.4 billion. That means potentially share nut also could do the same. 5.4 billion. 5.4 billion. So share not, then yam, then um, raw cashew nut, then um, vegetable again. Raw cashew nut, then vegetable. Raw cashew nut and vegetable. Um, I'm trying to check. The yam, I mean, yam, yam market as a root and tuba. Okay, I can see, I can't, I can't get what I'm looking for because um, unfortunately, yam has not been able to create the kind of attention that will make the world to want to see what we are doing with it. <clears throat> Yam has not been able to, so we need to do more in terms of promoting yam. The volume is not so much. The volume is not so much, so it's nowhere on the radar. <laughs> so I won't talk about it as a major item of export, even though there was a, a one that we tried to do in which um, we had some issues, and it became a major, major, major news. <laughs> became a major, major, major news. So we have... Um, Yam, raw cashew nut, vegetable. Or should say it, you will notice something in the southwestern state. There is consistency. There is consistency. There is some degree and measure of consistency. There is some degree and measure of consistency in the kind of product you find. That's why I said southwestern state should form synergy. We should not just form synergy only when we have to put a common front against a particular attack against us, which is good, like what the governor tried to do, I mean, Ruga issue and the like. But we should also do it economically. If Lagos State can go to the north, why can't we synergize in southwest? That proximity is an advantage, you know. It becomes easier to get those products to the port. <clears throat> it becomes easier although <clears throat> to grow the economy of the states, adjoining states, 
So you avoid the migration, rural urban migration. Lagos need to do this. Lagos need to do this. Lagos use your money to form alliance. Some of these ideas we're talking about, Lagos can actually fund states who have those potential but do not have the money to be able to work with their citizens and get those things done. And Lagos can even buy from their citizen and sell it to its own citizen or export it. So I'm saying Lagos State can set up an SPV, work with other state governors to be able to get product for export. And the state governor can sell it to Lagos and make some income from it. And make some income from it. But there could be a synergy within. And it can, I mean, why generating income from Lagos and creating jobs in the state where that product is being cultivated? Ocean State, cocoa, cotton, cassava, yam, raw cashew nut, vegetables. Raw cashew nut, vegetables. If you look at Ondo State, there's a new introduction, and it's introduction of palm produce. And that's where Kutipuwa comes in. Palm oil. Palm oil. Can we check the economy of palm oil again? Can we check the economy of palm oil again? Can we check the economy of palm oil again? And see the humongous potential of just palm oil. <laughs> and see the humongous potential of just palm oil. And see the humongous potential of just palm oil. $33.2 billion. You know the way I call this billionaire and this? It looks very common. <laughs> because uh, state governors can do it, but they've refused to. So imagine $33.2 billion. Imagine that's um, $10 billion is $3.6 um, trillion. 30 will be 10 trillion. Wow. 10 trillion. Wow. 10 trillion. <laughs> 10 trillion. That can do a lot. That can do a lot. But you know, most of our states spend less than 100 billion, 200 billion. So, on those states, you, are a, you have an advantage in Southwest in terms of palm produce. On those states, Okitibupa being leaders in this, I have known Okitibupa in under general paper, uh, what they call it, current affairs in primary school, of how much was produced in terms of palm oil from Okitibupa. But you know what? I think the place is shadow of itself, but it will be good for the governor, my governor. My governor in those days. <laughs> you know, I have three major states in Nigeria. Yes. The number one state. The number one state is um, is uh, Ikiti State, where I grew up. Number two state is um, Jigawa State, where I serve. And number three states on those states, that's actually where I'm from. <laughs> but I've never done, I've not lived there. So that's why it's taught. I've not lived there. I lived a whole year in Jigawa State, and it was a very interesting experience for me. So that's why Jigawa State, Binikudi is my local government in Jigawa State. Ado is my local government in Nikiti. <laughs> but my, 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 my state of origin, which I, I can't remember the last time I went there, you know, maybe I will also adopt Lagos State one of these days because I'm not, I don't live in Lagos for long. <laughs> I'm basically talking about the fact that someone needs to talk to the governor of Ondo State. Having an advantage in palm produce, I think, is a brilliant advantage. I don't know how much the state has been is doing about palm oil. I don't know how much. I, I don't think they should leave it in the hand of a private individual for them to. I sh probably some private individual are there. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think governors should take it upon himself to work with people in those local government that have this palm produce uh, in large quantity, plant new ones, work with the farmers, work with the people, and work with a, get a, a company to partner with 
who will be producing this for the state. And, and that, for me, that is very important. Who will be producing all this for the state. That, for me, is so great, is so important. The state governor need to do something about it. The, sta the state governor need to do something serious about it. You know why? Because that's an advantage in Western region. That's an advantage in Western region. It seems South, South, and South, it seems to have more palm produce than, than there. Yes, I can see a lot. Can you see most of them? Some, so it's an advantage, in my opinion, for in Southwest to have such. And I think something serious needs to be done about it. Something is trying to be done about it. So on those states, cocoa, cotton, cassava, palm produce, yam, raw cashew nut and vegetable. I've talked a lot about vegetable. I've spoken on cashew nut before, so I don't want to talk about it. But palm produce, palm oil, I think we are not even doing much in that area. $33 billion. $33 billion dollars 33 billion dollars 33 billion dollars 33 billion dollars 33 billion dollars <laughs> that's too much that's too much that's too much i'm trying to check up now um, palm nut and palm kernel that's a bit low 56 million that's low grand nut meal that's the palm kernel meal that's too low that's too low even though people talk about it but I'm, I'm looking you know where you know this time I'm not talking about individual I'm talking about state so <laughs> the state need a lot of money to be able to pay all their bills so I'm looking for big, big, big ticket sector. Sector of very big ticket for them to look at. Sector of very big ticket for them to look at. If it doesn't have big ticket, no, that will not be attractive. It has to have very big ticket. <laughs> if it doesn't have big ticket, no. Then Ogun State. Cocoa, cotton, cassava, yam, raw cashew nut, and vegetables. Raw cashew nut. And... So you will see consistently... Every state in Southwest produce vegetable. Every state in Southwest has potential for cassava. Those two. Vegetable is almost 50 billion. Cassava have, let me see, about 5 billion there. Cassava and its product, that's a lot. But I'm to think that vegetable is that much. I think we should take a, we should take a second look at vegetable. <laughs> we should take a second look at vegetable. All right. I, 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 now, what I'm doing basically at this point now is I'm looking at each of the states. And what I'm looking at for the state is, sorry, each of the region. And I'm focusing on agri. So for the next, maybe for the next one week, I'll focus on agri and solid minerals but looking at it from the region perspective. Looking at it from the region perspective. Uh, Agric as for potentials of southwestern state. Agric as for potential of southwestern. So I'm trying to change it to Agric because I'm going to look at um, southeast tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow, yeah. And south-south on Monday morning. South, South, and Monday morning. Then I'll continue with other states like that. So for the next six episodes, I'll be dealing with... Um, for next six episodes, I'll be dealing with different regions of the country and the consistency of some kind of product that they have. Consistency of some kind of product that they have. And the opportunity in those products and how they can take huge, huge advantage of it. Thank you very much for listening again today. My name is Delia Yimib and this is Import Export Platform, Facebook Live from Trinity Impact Academy. See you tomorrow around this time as I continue with the Southeastern State. Thank you very much and bye for now.